1991, there was a study in Japan. They did cold stimulation after exercise, like everybody knows how to do it, and they discovered that testosterone and luteinizing hormone went down. They reversed the order. They did the cold stimulation and then the exercise. So do your ice before the exercise, which nobody does, and testosterone and luteinizing hormone both went up. If you were to do this with 100 people, do we have a feel for like what percent of people are likely to be responders to that? They had something like 27 of these young men in this Japanese study, and they got statistically significant results. But there has never been a larger scale trial since 1991. You'd yeah. think somebody would be curious about this. Since that 91 study, there's been a lot of improvements on making uh, hormone replacement therapy safer, better, sure. and it works. But there's been very little on, well, just get into the cold water and then do some push ups or go for a walk. And so, yeah. because there's not a lot of money to be made on stimulating your body's own testosterone production. I think this is super interesting. And I, again, you know, from my sort of skeptical perspective, would love to see the controlled study, right? Or at least a large number of people before and after. Certainly biologically plausible 